Hello everyone. Welcome to IHN Academy. Myself Jenti, your faculty for UGC Net Paper 1. Welcome you all to my new wonderful session. So what is the session we are going to do today? That is about teaching aptitude, right? The first unit of Paper 1. So we will cover one very, very important topic from this particular unit in today's class. So are you ready and excited for the class? Yes, we all are ready, right? So let's just start with our first slide. So what is the topic for today? The topic is Swayam Prabha. We are going to cover this very important topic in today's class, Swayam Prabha. What is Swayam Prabha? What are the important things related to this topic and what you can expect in your exam? So, if you see the question, especially in the recent years, it has become very popular and important topic for teaching aptitude, right? Because it has been emerging in the recent years. So, if you are going to sit in the next exam, then this particular topic becomes very important for you, right? So, we will cover each and every point regarding this so that you don't need to go anywhere else to read this topic, right? What is Swayam Prabha? Swayam Prabha is a group of 34 DTH channels devoted to telecasting of high quality educational programs. So it's a group of channels, DTH channels. How many channels are there? 34 DTH channels are there, right? And in those channels, we watch on television the educational programs. So educational programs are running on their channels. And it provides the programs 24 by 7 using the GSAT-15 satellite. So what are the things you need to remember? First, number of channels, 34 number of channels in Swayam Prabha. Then the next thing you need to remember, the name of the satellite, which satellite is used for the channels of Swayam Prabha. The channels use the satellite GSAT-15, right? So what is the name of the satellite? GSAT-15, that is also important. Then every day there will be new content for at least four hours, which would be repeated five more times in a day. That means new content of four hours would be repeated five times in one day. Okay, so four hours of new content, repetition of five times. Then the channels are uplink from Bisak and Gandhinagar. From where the channels are uplink, this is also important point. So the name is Bisag and Gandhi Nagar. Clear? Yeah. Then the contents are provided by who? Who provides the contents to be delivered on the educational programs by these DTS channels? Who are the content providers? This is also important. So who are the content providers here? NPTEL, IITs, UGC, CEC, and IGNU. These are the content providers for Swayam Prabha. Clear? Yeah. yeah. Then, one more important thing here, the InfliBnet Center maintains the web portal. So, who maintains the web portal here? InfliBnet Center. The web portal of Swayam Prabha is maintained by InfliBnet Center. Here, this is the next important thing. So, here in this slide only, we have covered so many important things about Swayam Prabha, which are really important from your exam point of view. We are doing these classes for exam, right? Exam oriented. So you need to remember the things which have covered in this slide. First, number of channels, that is 34. Then satellite, GSAT 15 satellite. Then contents, new contents of four hours would be repeated five times. Then the channels are uplink from Bisag and Gandhinagar. And the content providers, NPTEL, IIT, UGC, CEC, and IGNU. And the last thing, who maintains the web portal? The maintenance of web portal of Swayam Prabha is done by the InfliBnet Center. Here, I hope everything was clear. Right. So let's come to the next slide. The DTS channels covers the following. So the DTS channels cover which of the students or which of the grades to know that. There are four types given here. Higher education. First, the DTS channels cover the higher education. Higher education means the education after your school education, when you complete your school. That education, higher education is covered by these DTS channels. 
then school education is also there but for only 9 to 12 if you are studying in 8 7 6 then swayam prabha is not for you there is school education only from 9 10 11 12 clear then curriculum based courses are also there some courses that can meet the needs of lifelong learners. We all are learners here, right? We all are lifelong learners. And we want to learn something throughout our life. So there are some curriculum-based courses also for the lifelong learners. Then it also assists the students of 11th and 12th who prepare for competitive exams. So if you are in 11th or 12th and you are preparing for any competitive exam, then also it helps you. So Swayam Prabha is there for help. Yes if you are preparing for competitive exam. So these four types are covered in the DTH channels. Clear? Let's come to the next slide. Yeah, it is one more important slide because if, if you see the PYQ, especially in the last year exam, there were some new questions regarding Swayam Prabha. What are the new questions? The new questions are related with the name of the channels. What are the name of the channels? This is related to new concept. You need to also retain the name of the channels of Swayam Prabha. So as we know, there are 34 DTF channels. You don't need to remember everything. You don't need to remember all the channels. But the thing which is important for you to remember it from channel 1 to channel 10. At least these 10 channels, you need to remember the name. These 10 channels are crucially important for your exam. Right? So you need to cover from channel 1 to channel 10, especially the name. The name of channel 1 is Bagish, channel 2 is Sanskriti, channel 3 is Prabodh, channel 4 is Sarashwat, channel 5 is Prabandhan, and then channel 6 is Vidhi, channel 7 is Kautilya, 8 is Karibhat, 9 is Spandan, and channel 10 is Daksh. All these names of the channel from channel 1 to channel 10. You definitely need to remember. Clear? So we have covered each and every point which is important from your exam point of view regarding Swayam Prabha. I hope each and every point was clear to you all. Right? And this session was fruitful to you. I hope that. Right? So thank you so much for attending the class. And we will come with next upcoming session and we will cover one more wonderful topic. And till then, enjoy your learning. Thank you so much for